show is expected to go on tonight, a day after a reopening setback due to COVID. The hit Broadway show Aladdin canceled last night when breakthrough COVID cases were reported within the musical's company. CBS 2's Dave Carlin joins us live from Times Square, where fans are hoping tonight will be different. Dave? Yes, it was a blow for Broadway, but it did not last long, if you believe what the producers are saying about tonight. Now, what happened is we had the entire company here at Aladdin retested for COVID, and with no new breakout cases emerging, the show goes on. The musical Aladdin scrambles to take flight again after a COVID-19 shutdown one day after reopening. But if it's open, we are going to attend it. Sergio Lavalle is in a group of eight tourists from Mexico City, including this young Aladdin fan. Yeah. This beautiful worried? lady. Are you worried at all about the safety? I think that the safety measures are good. That's why we are covering our mask and we have our certificate of vaccine. I hope they'll disinfect it and yeah, we are all vaccinated. <laughs> Counting on this show quickly bouncing back are these cast members seen here in rehearsal a few weeks back. The entire company is vaccinated, undergoing COVID testing producers describe as rigorous. It allowed them to come back to the stage Tuesday night, then breakthrough cases turned up in test results. We've learned that on Tuesday, understudies went on for some members of the ensemble. On Aladdin's Twitter page was this message, we will continue to provide support to the affected Aladdin company members as they recover. We're watching this closely. Do not expect to see any immediate policy changes because of this, said New York State Governor Kathy Hochul. Given that we have the vaccine and the boosters and more available testing, we should be in a better place. But I will always be prepared to do what it takes to protect New Yorkers, and all options are always on the table. But some tourists are out of options for seeing Aladdin soon, with vacations ending before they can reschedule. It's a little mad because I made this plan for four months ago. Back live, now this was the first COVID shutdown for Broadway since the big return from the pandemic pause, but this did happen at other shows off Broadway and on tour. Live in Times Square, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. Okay, Dave, thank you.